Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Donald Trump threatens to impose martial law in Chicago, and it may be over a feud with Ram Emanuel. President Donald Trump is threatening Chicago and its mayor, Ram Emanuel, with martial law, something which could have profound implications for the Windy City. On Tuesday morning, Trump sent out the following tweet, threatening to send in the feds in response to Chicago's violence. If Chicago doesn't fix the horrible carnage going on, 228 shootings in 2017 with 42 killings, up 24 percent from 2016, I will send in the feds. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, January 25, 2017 Trump's tweet coincided with a segment on the Fox News show The O'Reilly Factor. A few minutes after 8 p.m., the program discussed Chicago violence and cited statistics similar to those that Trump had used, namely that there had been 228 shootings in 2017, up 5.5 percent from last year, and 42 homicides in 2017, up 24 percent from last year. One of the show's guests, Horace Cooper, even use the term carnage to describe the situation. On that same day, it came out that there had been 40 murders in the city within the first 22 days of 2017. Despite Trump's apocalyptic depiction of Chicago's crime rate, the metropolis is actually nowhere near the top of America's most dangerous big cities. Its per capita homicide rate in 2015 was 18th at 16.4 out of 100,000 residents, with the ignominious top spots belonging to New Orleans, 46.9 out of 100,000 residents, Detroit, 45.0 out of 100,000 residents, and St. Louis, 43.8 out of 100,000 residents. It was slightly higher among non-fatal shootings in 2015 ranking 12th with 88.9 out of 100,000. This, however, was still eclipsed by St. Louis, 659.7 out of 100,000 residents, Memphis, 247.1 out of 100,000 residents, and Oakland, 232.4 out of 100,000 residents. Coincidentally, one of the last major acts of the Obama Justice Department was to release a report criticizing the Chicago Police Department for rampant racial profiling and abusive power. It seems that Trump is determined to approach the problems in that city from the perspective that there isn't enough law and order rather than that law and order has run amok. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.